We got the goods. What do you think, Annie? Okay right, guys, I got something a little special for you today. Something that I got in the mail that I'm gonna be unboxing, and that is the Tech Disc. I am so excited to work with this product over this off season to try to get my numbers up for 2024. As the off season goes on, I'm gonna be doing a couple more of these videos, a little mini series, if you will, just on how my form is changing and what I'm doing to change my numbers. Cause the goal is to get my arm speed up increase my spin and decrease my nose angle. So those are my kind of three goals that I want to work on over this off season. Um, so as I kind of figure those things out, I'll be sharing them with you guys in videos um, and sharing tips with you to help you guys get your form to the next level as well. Super pumped. This is a great tool. I'm so excited to check it out. Let's get into the unboxing. I already opened this so I don't have to struggle with that on camera. Little message from Jake, that's kind. I already opened these to try to make it a little easier too. Let's let's pop it open and see what we got. Oh, it's pink. I, in my brain, I always just imagined it'd be blue because that's what I've seen most of them to be. This is kind of dope though. Okay, so charger, spacer. This is the important thing, you throw this. Okay, here it is, dope. It is a force, I did get the distance driver. Yeah, this is really cool actually. Super pumped with this. Um, don't know what run of force this is actually. It doesn't really matter, but it looks like they're doing something special with Discraft where they're not getting any stamps. Because um, I've seen a couple times where they use like Ledgestone forces and stuff like that because they have lightweight stuff, but this has no stamp at all on it. They also have this, which is new. I haven't seen these on any of the new ones yet. So that's pretty cool. Um, little charging port there, USB-C, that's cool. Let's see what else we got here. Oh man, I only got one sticker. I watched Bedanza's video and he got like 10. I'm just not fancy enough. Pair device. So you go to the website, turn the disc on, click connect, and there you go. You can scan the QR code too, okay. Yeah, very, very simple. That's all you need to know. Got a little setup here, got this net. Got the Crocs. Let's just give it a, just a hyzer. Okay, backhand hyzer, 47 miles per hour, 800 spin. Let's give it a little forehand. There it is, new throws up. Okay, let's see what's up. 43, 555. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm gonna do 10 throws to get a little baseline. Okay guys, I'm actually gonna cut myself off here because I came back the next day after filming this to do some network with the tech disc and I realized all of my numbers were higher than all of these initial points. So I think the shoes, the pants, not being warmed up or something like that made a difference in my data points. So I'm gonna get changed, I'm gonna warm up a little bit and let's redo these 10 throws because I don't wanna give you guys a false illusion that after a week my numbers are significantly different because that's not how it works. Let's redo these 10 throws and let's check out the data again and see where my baseline actually is. Let's do it. All right, that's it. Let's check out the data. Okay, here's the new data set. Uh, we have the 10 throws from today. Let's check out speed first here. So you can see the speed here is 59.5, just about 60, lowest was 57, highest was uh, 61. My spin is consistently over 1,000, lowest being 9, uh, 960, highest being 1,100, um, wobble is pretty good, pretty clean, nothing nothing out of the ordinary there. Heiser, I need to straighten that out a little bit still. I'm realizing I went out to the course and I played around and thinking of um, the same form as throwing in here, I was still throwing flat. So I think there's just something about being in here that kind of makes you disregard angles. And that's honestly okay, because angles are important on the field, but as you're trying to get a baseline, it doesn't really matter a ton. Nose angle here is, yeah, it's up 4.7 is the um, average there, the lowest being 1.6, which is actually pretty good, and the highest being seven, which is not great. Launch angle could also be a little bit higher. These two are kind of correlated, nose and launch are correlated. If my nose is up, I've learned that I don't actually need to throw it uh, very high because the disc itself will lift 
as it flies. So as I get my nose angle down, I'll need to bring my launch angle up. So overall, yeah, these stats here are really nice. Just to be around that 60 mark, um, for my spin to be over a thousand, and then obviously my nose angle isn't preferable, but these two I'm really happy about. That is the updated data that is our baseline for the beginning of 2024 here. Who would I recommend the tech disc for? I think people who really want to work on their form and really want to grow fast, this is a great tool for you. Um, if you really love grinding out your form, if you spend a lot of time doing field work, but if you just want to know what your numbers are, you don't really love doing form work, you don't really love doing field work, I would recommend trying to find one to try out to see what your numbers are. Maybe see if a local shop has one that you can try out. It is a lot of money. In Canada here, it was around $430 and the wait time was a couple months too. So if you're not really committed to trying to grind out your form, I would try finding a local place that has one. Try it out, see what your numbers are. But if you are really committed to trying to get better, this is a great tool. Disc golfers have gotten so much better over the last couple of years and I know this is gonna excel that as well because people are able to see what their numbers are. You don't have to guess anymore. You don't have to try to see if you're doing everything right just with a slow-mo video. So I'm super excited about this. Uh, I'm gonna get to work. Have a nice day.